Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here with another prehistoric uh, reptile review. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Schleich 2018 Dino Gorgon. Now before I start, I know I should be doing the reviews of the new Collector figures, but I got this yesterday uh, and I decided I might as well review it along with the other uh, Schleich figures for 2018. So it doesn't seem like it's off when it, after I review the collective figures. Okay, so Dino Gorgon uh, was a type of Gorgonopsid dino, uh, reptile that lived it was an opsid that lived in the that lived in uh, South Africa and Tanzania 250 million years ago in the late Permian period. And that's and it really wasn't that big. I think it was about the size of a, well, just a bit smaller than a human. I think I don't know for sure. Now let's get on to the figure itself. This is the second uh, Gorgonopsid figure I know of. Uh, I think there's probably more out there, but uh, the only one, the second one I own, like uh, the first being the Safari Inostranzivia. And I gotta say, like comparing this to the Inostranzivia, this is perfect. What I think I would expect from a Gorgonopsid. It looks mammalian. Uh, I love the detail on it. Like you almost mistaken this for like a prehistoric mammal. And also, there's a bit of shrink wrapping on the skull, but that doesn't bother me at all. There's little ear holes here, which is nice to see Schleich actually put detail into their figures instead of saying, oh, we'll make it like for, we'll make it for kids because we don't care. Uh, the interior of the mouth is well detailed. It's, it's kind of rare to see on Schleich figures because sometimes they're not as well detailed. Like, uh, let's see, where's. I think the Barapasaurus might have that, or like some dinosaurs I know from Schleich don't have well interior mouths, especially if they're permanent open mouths. Like the, uh, oh yeah, the Tawa. The Tawa here, as you can see, there's really no detail besides the tongue. But I'm actually surprised they did this, and it is in a mammalian pose. I love the little shrink wrap here, it doesn't matter really. The tail is short and mammalian, which we would all expect. I do love the teeth sculpt here. I'm actually really um, impressed by them. Instead of just stapling them out, they're individually sculpted, which I really appreciate. And you also got the little uh, little uh, grooves here for like when the mouth is closed. Uh, that's where the fangs go. And to some people consider like Organops as being the first ever saber tooths, which is true. Like it did have large teeth, which you could use to cut open enemies, which you could use to cut open prey and whatnot. Uh, and again, like I love the pattern here. Uh, it actually it's mostly brown with these little uh, blackish or grayish stripes. Pretty neat. The underside there is no cloaca, but it would be about here, I think. Uh, the feet are not oversized, but they're probably the right size. They're not like clown feet like any other Schleich figure figure Schleich makes. And I gotta say, like this is probably. And I got this at my uh, local toy store um, for about uh, eight Canadian dollars. That's really not that ch that expense. It's really cheap though. So, and again, like I'll put them together with the other. Uh, first, I'll do uh, comparison with the uh, Inostranzivia. So here's it is with the Inostranzivia, and you can clearly see the Dino Gorgon is a huge step forward from what this was made back in I think 2010 or 2011. I can't remember. Let me check it. Yeah, 2010. Uh, and you can clearly see there's a lot more detail and a lot more accuracy here compared to the Safari or Safari in Australia, which is kind of rare for Schleich to be Schleich for Schleich's uh, version of a figure to be better than Safaris. And I know they're not the same species, like they're two different separate species, but they're both Gorgonopsids. So I'm just the point here. So again, like, and this cost me about $15, I think, on everything dinosaur, but let me get compared with the other, uh, Schleich 2018 figures I have, uh, ah, no, don't fall, silly oviraptor, don't fall. Now, these figures are all magnificent, they all cost about the same, $8 Canadian, uh, I can get, you can get them, if you're living in Canada, or... You can get them at your local toy stores, wherever they sell Schleich figures. Uh, definitely, like, compared to last year, what we got, this is a huge improvement. 
over all these figures. Like, these are probably the only good figures. The trike I might get. I don't know for sure. The T-Rex just looks like it's way over big. The Carno is awful, and the Velociraptor is, again, proof that Schleich cannot make a proper Velociraptor. But again, besides those, I recommend any of these four figures. They're relatively cheap. They're accurate. Uh, the detailing is really well done. The coloration is not brightly colored like, say, something like the uh, Therizinosaurus. Also, we forgot about the repaint of the Therizinosaurus. Just avoid that unless you want to repaint of the Therizinosaurus. Um, and also, if you want obscure species, like, I never even heard of Tawa or Dino Gorgon when I first heard they were coming out. I didn't even know what they were. I thought they were just making them up. But I actually am surprised they decided to go with uplandish species like the Barapasaurus they made two years ago. And I'm hoping for 2018, uh, for 2019 for Schleich, is a Protoceratops, some sort of prosauropod, because I really think we need another prosauropod and anyone needs to make one. And I gotta say, like, this is a really good collection. So you can get one, you can get all of them. Doesn't matter. So uh, you can get yours at Everything Dinosaur if you want to get online or look at your local Schleich toy stores like Toys R Us or whatever and get them like my Toys R Us doesn't get them. Uh, get them at local toy stores that sell Schleich figures. And okay, uh, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor. I will. So this has been my review of the uh, Schleich Dino Gorgon. My next review will be of the Collecta Mantellisaurus. And this is Alex the Sauropod Titan. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.